My name is Prasad. Today I'm going to demonstrate to you the working of a JCB truck. For making this we use simple materials like wooden battens and boards, syringes, saline tubes and other trinkets. First I will show you some of the movements of this JCB truck. Now the first movement is the left right movement. It's all based on hydraulic pressure. You push in a syringe and the jib goes to the left. You pull it out and it goes right. Now for the second movement, the small arm moves up down as you push and pull the second syringe. Now the third movement is that of the bucket curling. It's just like your palm curling away. And the last and fourth movement, here the long arm of the jib moves up down, thus lowering or raising the whole jib. The hydraulic principle involved is simple. Here two syringes filled with water are connected with a plastic tube. On pushing one piston in, pressure is transmitted and the other piston moves out. Well, you can also use it like a jack. You need a total of eight syringes to make this JCB truck. The JCB can perform a range of movements. In real life, JCBs are used to dig trenches and pits in the earth. They are also used for loading stuff into trucks. You can see a range of movements acquired with hydraulic pressure. The nice thing about this model is that it uses throwaway objects to make a dynamic working model of a JCB.